In this short video, we're going to talk about Roots Magic's new problem alerts. Now, Roots Magic has always had the ability to generate a list of potential data entry problems in your database. Uh, that was under the Tools menu, and it still is under the Tools menu. But we realized a lot of people didn't realize that, that this problem report was there, and so they never actually tried it to see if there were potential problems in their database. So we created a new feature called Problem Alerts. Now with Problem Alerts, what Roots Magic is going to do is display a little alert next to each person's name that has a potential problem. And if you see one of these alerts, which will show up on the pedigree, the family, the descendant view, you can just click on that to see what the potential problems are. And in this case, we see that for James Smith, the potential problems that he has are being uh, buried before he died and also that his mother was born after he was. Now, from this particular screen, I can select any of these items and then I can go in and edit the person or the family um, and, or I can add it to the to-do list. We'll talk about those in just a second. But in the case, for example, of death after burial, I'm just going to go ahead and click Edit Person, and I can see right here that I have a burial date of May of 1889 and a death in 1899. Most likely a typo, uh, but that's one that I would actually want to take a look at and see what's wrong. And I could fix that right here if I wanted, because I am in the Edit screen. But I could also say I'm not really sure whether it was 1889 or 1899. So what I could do is I could just leave it here so that it continues to uh, give me that program or that problem alert. Or I could say I want to add this item to my to-do list for James Smith. When I click on that, it opens up a to-do item for James Smith. It says the task is to check for death after burial and I can put the details and I can click OK and I can create right from here a to-do item for this particular potential problem. Okay, I can also, in the case of one like this, where it says the mother was born after the person's birth. Now, opening the edit screen for the person is not going to be a lot of help because it's not comparing two of his own events, like death and burial in that first one. In this case, we're looking at his mother's birth and his birth date. So that's why we have the Edit Family button. If I highlight this one and select Edit Family, Roots Magic's going to show me the actual family, and I can see right here that the mother, her birth date is in 1831, and James is in, is in 1830. So according to this, he was actually born before his mother was. And I can select any person on this family list, and I can edit the person, so I can go into the edit person. So if I know that her birth date was wrong, I could go right into her birth screen and make the change right from here. And you can see that most likely that birth date is wrong since it actually had, uh, shows her as being born after she was married. Okay, I can also go in and print this list. So if I actually wanted to just get a list of James Smith's potential problems, I can just click print and that will let me send that to the printer or create a PDF, you know, or anything like that. Okay, let's show another example though. Eliza, we're gonna look at Eliza's. She has, a, she has a problem alert as well. I'm gonna go ahead and click on her problem alert and I'm gonna see that it says that she was 103 years old when she died. And I can go in and look at that and verify that. And I may look at that and see that I have great documentation showing her birth and death. And maybe she really did live to be 103 years old. Well, in that case, I can say I don't want to see a problem alert because this is correct. And what I can do is while that particular problem is highlighted, I just say that's not a problem. And Roots Magic removes that potential problem from the problem list. And when I close this, you'll see that she no longer has that alert. Now, suppose, though, that I, I later decide, oh, that actually might have been a problem. Well, any time that I want, I can go up here to the Tools menu. And under the Tools menu, you have your problem search. There's your problem list, the one we talked about at the beginning, where it looks for problems for everybody all at the same time. Uh, but there's also the option to view 
the not a problem list. And when you select that, it's going to show you all of the items that you have said are not a problem. In other words, you said Eliza Barnum, her problem of being too old at death wasn't really a problem. Well, if I decide it was a problem, I can say remove it from this list. In other words, remove it from the not a problem list. It takes it off. And when I close this, you're going to see that her little alert is back. Because now when I go into here, you're going to see that particular problem is back listed as a problem. Okay, now there's a lot of different types of problems that Roots Magic can look for it, to do this alert. And you can turn the alert, the problem alerts on and off. To do that, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Tools menu again, and you're going to go down to File Options. Now, under the File Options, you're going to see an option right here called Problem Alerts. And if you uncheck this, you won't ever see these little problems. So if you don't want them there, uh, if you think they're too busy or you don't want to be notified uh, that something might be wrong with what you've entered, go ahead and turn that off. You can also choose what particular types of problems Roots Magic is going to look for. So if I click on that, you're going to see Roots Magic can look for individuals without sex entered. So in other words, if you have added a person and you haven't set them to male or female, if this option is checked, you're going to have a little uh, little problem alert if that person doesn't isn't doesn't have male or female set. Proper order of events. That's going to make sure that the events in a person's life are in the proper order. In other words, a person was not married before they were born. A person was not married after they died. Things like that. Okay, you can also check whether or not a person was born before their parents were married. Okay, now that might be a perfect, perfectly valid uh, thing and you can use the not a problem option in that case. But if you would like it to show you children who were born before their parents were married and indicate that with, an, with a problem alert, you can do that. You can also choose to have Roots Magic tell you whether a person was born before their parents were. You can have that it show whether or not a person was born after their father died or after their mother died. There's also four options here where you can not only choose whether Roots Magic is going to look for that problem, but you can also choose the parameters for that, that as well. So age at death should be less than 100. Okay, if you have a lot of people in your family that lived to be 100, go ahead and up that to 105. If everybody, uh, and if most of the people in your family died maybe on the younger side, you can lower that number. You can also have Roots Magic choose whether or not the age that they were married was between 14 and 70. And again, you can change that. If your family married young, go ahead and increase that up to six, uh, uh, you know, or lower it, I guess, down to down to 13 or 12 or whatever. You can pick whatever numbers you want. You can also do the same thing for the father's age and the mother's age. And this means the father and mother's age at the time the person was born. So in other words, you're saying that if a person was born and their father was less than 14 or was over 70, then it's going to trigger a problem alert. Okay, same thing with the mother. If the mother was younger than 14 or older than 50, it will trigger a problem alert. But of course, you can go in and change those uh, so that the problem alerts are customized to your own values. So that is how problem alerts work, and hopefully uh, you will find these to be useful.